Good morning. It is my pleasure to present our paper titled by Distributed Renewable Energy Micropower Plants, a solution for new and existing power grids over Africa. Written by me, Hani Tarfa, from University of Tlemcen, Algeria, uh, Professor Lotfi Bagli from University of Tlemcen, Algeria, and Professor Ramchandra Bendari from University of Applied Sciences, Germany. For that, a plan of work is presented. I will start by an introduction, then I will give you an overview about uh, the materials and the methods, then I will show you uh, the results and discussions, then I will finish by a conclusion and an acknowledgement. Introduction Providing electricity in the African countries through the extension of the grid is very expensive due to its high distributed population. The United Nations estimates that the current population of Africa is more than 132 billion with more than 56% of people living in known urban areas. However, with the development of renewable energy technologies and with the increase of fuel prices, the integration of distributed renewable energy micropower plants is more favorable to enforce the weakness of the power grid in Africa. This new approach consists in putting many renewable energy micropower plants near the customers, which is different from the conventional one where the power plants are located far from the, lo the loads and where, where there are many power losses in the transmission lines. Despite distributed renewable energy micropower plants give a clean energy and help to reduce the greenhouse's emissions, furthermore, as we cannot store as much as electricity in batteries, the integration of distributed renewable energy micropower plants bring new challenges for the stability of the power grid and for the quality of service. It is now that uh, renewable energies have an intermittent generation that directly varies with weather, clouds, sun, wind, etc. The energy output can go from zero in a cloudy day to the maximum value spontaneously and vice versa, as you can see in this figure, which represents uh, the power extracted from two photovoltaic panels uh, in a cloudy day uh, at Lemsen, Algeria. Materials and methods. Experimental prototypes of smart micropower plants are developed at the Laboratoire d'Automatique de Tlemcen. The first one is a 1.5 kW wind turbine emulator based on a double feed induction generator. As you can see in this figure, the DC motor is directly coupled to the DFIG and is powered by a chopper. The chopper is powered from the same DC bus as the machine side converter. Hence, we need only uh, a simple three-phase diode-based rectifier. The second one is a 1.5 kW wind turbine emulator based on a synchronous generator. A similar structure is used, uh, but we need a back-to-back -back, uh, machine side converter, a grid side converter between the grid and the stator of the synchronous generator. The third one is a 1.5 kW photovoltaic industrial micropower plant. Six photovoltaic panels are connected each to with one grid tie inverter. The three grid tie inverter are connected to the grid via a circuit breaker and to the energy communication unit. Uh, the last one is uh, a 250 uh, watt photovoltaic self-made micropower plant. Uh, we choose to build it with uh, two interleaf step-up DC-DC choppers that extract the power from the PV. Then uh, the inverter stage synchronizes to the, to the grid using a zero-cross detection algorithm and allows the injection of the reference active or reactive power. Uh, we are still facing some experimental issues. Uh, the wind turbine emulator based on a double feed induction generator is operational, but it is not yet communicating to the data bus. Uh, the one uh, based on a synchronous generator is already communicating to the data bus thanks to the microcontroller ESP8266, but this, this, this one is not yet uh, fully operational. 
the 1.5 kilowatt uh, PV micropower plant is only sending data is only sending data to the to the Firebase data bus uh, thanks to the second Raspberry Pi3 that reads data from the the server of the energy communication unit. Uh, but this this micropower plant cannot receive orders uh, because the the, the grid tie inverter uh, is only producing. The, the maximum power thanks to its uh, inter uh, MPPT internal algorithm. Uh, the 250 watt PV micropower plant, however, can can send can send and receive orders uh, to from the data bus thanks to the thanks to the uh, to the microcontroller ESP8266. But this this uh, micropower plant is still under progress. In parallel to the experimental prototypes, we emulate the high voltage utility grid by a 5 buses per grid running in real time on the Raspberry Pi 3. It contains two generator buses, south is a PV bus and north is the slack bus. There are three consumption nodes, lake, main and element. To compute the power flow through the grid and the voltage at all the buses, we implemented the load flow and transient stability programs on the Raspberry Pi 3. Moreover, we implemented two power system stabilizers to enhance the stability of the system. The first one is an automatic voltage regulator to stabilize the magnitude of, of the voltage. And the second one is the speed governor to stabilize the speed of the power plant synchronous generator. This table shows the initial data for load flow and transient stability uh, calculations, where PG is the generated power, PL is the consumed power, and VB is the voltage at bus. Results and discussions. To study the impact of integrating renewable energy micropower plants on the stability of the five buses power grid, and to analyze their mutual interaction in grid connected mode, four cases are presented. The first is when the five buses power grid functions without injecting the power off of the micropower plants. The figure you see shows the, the variation of the electrical and mechanical quantities, internal angle, speed, voltage, and power of both synchronous generator. The, the north generator is presented by the blue curves, uh, and the south is presented by the red curves. Here we have two also. We see that all the electrical and mechanical quantities are constant with time. This is explained by the known integration of micropower plants, and that there is no modification of form in the power network. The second case is when we inject only the power of the PV micropower plant in element bus. The figure you see shows the variation of the PV power with time. A routine is added to the transient stability to read these data from a file, then inject them in the 5 buses power grid as additional positive uh, load that varies with time. Positive values are for generated power. The variation of electrical and mechanical quantities of both generators are shown in this figure. <clears throat> we see that when injecting the PV power in element bus, both generators will be affected due to the interconnection of the grid. A mismatch between the consumption and the production happened, thus both generators will be accelerated thanks to the PSS. Uh, to the power system stabilizers, the automatic voltage and the speed governor control, respectively the EMF and the mechanical power of both generators. This fast acting makes the voltage and, and the speed come back to their nominal value spontaneously after each increase or decrease in the injected power. In addition, it makes uh, the, internal angle, uh, the internal angles of both generators stay in the stability limit less than 90 degree. The generated power from both generators adapt itself to follow the injected power. The third case is when we inject only the power of the wind turbine emulator based on a double feed induction generator in the lake bus. 
This figure shows the variation of the injected power, which is more fluctuant compared to the, to the injected PV power. Uh, this power is obtained with certain conditions. The wind profile should be more than 5 meters per, per second and less than 9 meters per second. You see in this figure the, the associated wind profile which is more than 5 meters per second and less than 9 meters per second. In this case study, and as you can see in this figure, the mechanical and the electrical quantities are more affected by, by the high fluctuation of the wind turbine emulator power compared to the PV power of case 2, which is smoother. The last case is when we inject the power of both PV and wind turbine emulator micropower plants in element and lake buses respectively. It is clear that the disturbances generated by the intermittent injected power powers propagate rapidly to the grid connected, affecting both generators. In addition, the power system stabilizers present a fast reaction to the power mismatch making voltage and speed remaining to their nominal values for each disturbance. Comparing case 2, 3 and 4, we conclude that not the quantity of the injected power that makes important disturbances, whereas the sudden increase or decrease do. We see in case 4 that the disturbances are the same as case 3. Contrarily, the power generated from, from both synchronous generator uh, is reduced much in case 4 compared to the case 2 and case 3. Conclusion The integration of distributed renewable energy micropower plants will enforce the weakness of the power grid in Africa. It reduces the generated power from the conventional generators, hence reducing the consumption of the fuel, minimizing the greenhouse's emissions, and minimizing all the types of waste. The drawbacks are the impact on the quality of service and on the stability of the power grid due to the intermittent availability of the sources. With an appropriate control of the EMF and the mechanical power of, uh, of the conventional generators, we can reduce the apparatus and the disturbances results from, renewable, from the renewable micropower plants. Due, uh, due to the fact that apparatus and disturbances propagate rapidly to connected network, the control and management of electricity generated from renewable sources are very important to avoid fragilizing the power grid and to keep the system working at optimal efficiency. In this presentation, the power profiles generated by experimental renewable energy micropower plants are modeled by a negative load, uh, load profiles to be injected at a specific bus. Later on, we will integrate also precise models of renewable energy micropower plants to compare with the experimental prototypes. In addition, the power system stabilizers are integrated only, only in the conventional generator side. Later on, we will integrate them also in the micropower plants side. And we will, we will see what are the benefits when controlling these micropower plants on the stability of the power grid and on the quality of service. Moreover, we will test the experimental micropower plants in real conditions to inject receive online data to from uh, the, the, the Firebase database and use them for online hardware in the loop simulations. Acknowledgement. This study is financially supported by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research BMBF, via its project management agency DLR, under the project uh, Water and Energy Security in Africa. This work is also supported by the Direction Générale de la Recherche Scientifique et du Développement Technologique DGRSDT of Algeria. Thanks for your attention.